lifespan for dogs with hypothyroidism if treated properly? If it's treated properly, Alexander, it shouldn't be any different than any other dog. They should live just as long as any other, as long as they're treated properly and monitored periodically to make sure the dose isn't uh, doesn't need to be changed. Remember when they're older they're going to need less so the dog's not going to say the same dose of thyroid therapy when it's five than when it's twelve. Okay. It's going to change. Okay. So and my last question is um, should I consult with a thyroid specialist versus a regular vet to confirm a correct diagnosis? No, you don't need a. I don't know what a thyroid specialist is in our profession. Actually, it would be an endocrinologist, but you don't really need that. This is an educational issue, and that's one of the reasons why Diana Lavardura and I wrote the book, The Canine Thyroid Epidemic. We wanted it to be written focused to the pet owner, even the breeder, and also be useful for veterinarians to basically set down what everybody needs to know and understand, so that not because we want to avoid seeing specialists, but they've got much more complicated things to do than worry about monitoring and managing thyroid disease if we all understood how to do it. And it's pretty simple once you know the basics. Okay. So um, your lab is offering several thyroid panels that your animal can get tested for. And um, can I have my dog's blood samples tested at your lab if I live somewhere else besides California? You can have your dog tested through our laboratory anywhere in the world. We rece receive samples every day from every country in the world, even countries in Eastern Europe that you wouldn't even think would know about it. And there's been a lot of outreach uh, on the Internet. We have a Facebook page. Our book has been amazing in uh, teaching people about how to do this correctly all over the world. And so we get samples, as I said, every day. It's just a separated serum sample. It does not need to be refrigerated. There are simple directions to send it from another country. It just basically has to say that it's from a dog and that it's serum. You don't say blood because blood connotes all kinds of nasty things. And it isn't blood, it's serum. Uh, for diagnostic purposes only, and it's non-infectious. And basically that's all the U.S. Customs requires to release it through the USDA to come to us. We get samples from Sydney, Australia in 24 hours because of the nonstop flights from Sydney to L.A. And we, the post office takes five days to get it from New Jersey. I mean, go figure. Yeah. The samples are stable for 10 to 14 days in transit. So we get samples from everywhere. It doesn't matter. It just takes a little longer because courier, sending samples by courier from another country is expensive. It's not necessary. This is not a stat disease. I mean, it can wait another week if nobody's diagnosed it for two years. Okay, so if I want to do this, I go to your website, I download the um, instructions for um, how to deliver it to you, and then go to my vet to ask to have the blood drawn, is that correct? Yes, but you have to download the test request form along with the instructions, and it's easier for your veterinarian if they're not a regular hemopet client, or many are, but let's say they're not, if you fill it out all, all ahead of time, and when your veterinarian says, well, gosh, my lab could do those tests. I, I, I'd, I'd rather do it with us. And so the person needs to say, yes, but we really want to become part of Dr. Dodds's clinical research database because she's publishing all of this work in various journals depending on the topic. And we want to contribute to her work um, as a nonprofit, as an expert in the field. Some people will say, well, I never heard of her. But you know, some people haven't heard of Hemopet, Alexandra, but when you mention my name, they say, oh, yeah, we know about her. She's been around forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so can your lab confirm a definite diagnosis based upon the test results? Yes, we can. You can. Um, there, yes, we do make definitive diagnoses and we make recommendations, but remember, we're not treating the animal. Yeah. Only the veterinarian uh, taking care of the pet has the patient-client relationship that legally can treat the animal. So if the veterinarian gets our recommendations and has a different set of recommendations, then the pet owner has to decide whether they're going to follow that recommendation or seek another opinion. I mean, having a second opinion is not a problem. So it, we will make definitive diagnoses as long as we have correct information. And sometimes we ask questions like the golden retriever that weighs seven pounds. Well, that was a typo. But we had to be sure before we made a recommendation, and it was actually 73 pounds and overweight. But we didn't know that. So sometimes we have to go back to the clinician submitting the sample and ask for more information before we can make a definitive uh, recommendation. Okay, so if I if my dog has been diagnosed with this disease and I have no clue, I have not seen this video, um, do you offer consultations regarding the results? 
Yes, we do. Um, anybody that sent a sample into Hemopet gets any consultation they want at no additional charge. It's part of the test. Uh, you get to talk to any of us by email or even by phone. Um, if you've had your laboratory testing done elsewhere, which is also fine, and complete testing was done, you can submit those, a copy of those results with a consultation request, which is on our test request form. So there's a consultation box with a donation that we would like to receive because we have to put that person's information into our data file and have it on file to retrieve if it's needed later. So there is a consultation fee only for those people that need information for us to read and review other clinical records and lab reports done elsewhere. Okay. And I know that your lab offers other specialized tests. Can you tell us more about them, what they focus on? Okay. The, the tests, we, we offer any test basically that can be done, and some of them we send out to um, the specific experience reference labs that do that, like adrenal hormone testing, for example, with complicated profiles we send to the University of Tennessee, to the late Dr. Jack Oliver's lab. That's just one example. Our von Willebrand factor testing for the bleeding disease, the inherited or acquired form of that disease, is done at Cornell University at the laboratory that I developed and directed for many, many years. And so rather than reproducing my own test when I moved to the West Coast, we still do it with my colleagues on the East Coast. But at Hemopet directly in our own lab, we measure vaccine titers every day. We're one of the first labs ever commercially to promote that and published um, methodology for that in the year 2000, for example. We also have a, we do heartworm antigen screening as part of that because it can come as a package. And then the most exciting new test we offer, which is amazing, um, is called NutriScan. N-U-T-R-I-S-C-A-N, and it's patent protected as are our thyroid tests. And uh, the patents for the dog, we're just currently getting the cat and the horse approved. And what we do is saliva-based testing for food sensitivity and intolerance. It's the only test in the world that uses saliva, which is more clinically predictive than our blood samples for food, quotes, intolerance, sensitivity, or as many people call them, food allergy, which is actually a misnomer. Um, so the blood testing is not very clinically relevant, and nor is it in people. But the best testing is saliva or feces. And when we started to develop the test, we thought saliva samples are better than having hundreds of fecal samples arriving every day from all over the world. And there are many uh, uh, national blogs. There's one right now on Mercola today about NutriScan and the benefit of our testing. And we're really proud about the fact that so many people have written glowing reports about the results from this test, which we only started doing really last November. And we've got close to 2,000 tests already from all over the world because the saliva is good for 30 days. Okay. And the, the only critical thing about it, Alexander, for your viewers is that you have to get the special kit from Hemopet to do that. This isn't a cheek swab. This is a special dental cotton rope with a special double sleeve tube that we have to buy in Germany. So you need to contact Hemopet by email or by telephone to have us send you the kit. Pet owners pay for the kit. Veterinarians get the kits at no charge because we're doing it like they do any other lab test. They get the tubes to do the testing at no charge. Okay. But pet owners can do it as well. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Dodds. And uh, we hope to have you back in the future. Good. About dog nutrition and your new book, Nutrigenomics. Can you tell us shortly about this a little bit? Nutrigenomics, uh, our new book should be out in late spring next year. It's about foods that heal your pets, and we, it's almost finished, and it's dynamite. We really, really are enjoying writing it. Okay, well, thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.